Hey guys, it's Cassie and today we have a luxury bag unboxing and also a reveal slash unboxing of a new pair of shoes. And oddly enough, they are a pretty close match. This was a very random impulse purchase for me because usually, especially with bag purchases, I don't do impulsive. I think I'm like, okay, what do I have in my collection? Is there anything similar? Blah, blah, blah. It is an informed decision for me to buy said bag. This one, I saw it existed. Next thing you know, thank you for your order. And sometimes that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie and I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, so if you like luxury fashion, then you're gonna love it. Here's a head down, a subscribe turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. Guys, are you ready? Let's pop the trunk. Links to these items will be below. So I ordered this directly from Bottega Veneta and this was it. I kind of expected like a little, little thank you card, a little, th no, it was just the returns thing. So a little bit lacklustre, but I'll live with it. Wait, I kind of want to tell you what it is because the reveal of this is going to be the colour. Okay, because this is once in a lifetime, never been done before, fabulous, incredible, uh, transcendent, magical, magnificent. As we know, last year, the Bottega Veneta Mini Jodie was the bag of the year, okay? We saw it left, right and centre. She was out here getting the sodden paparazzi photos, all right? We were seeing her everywhere. And I, I've talked about that bag so many times and said that I, I really like the bag on other people, but there's just nothing inside of me that makes me want it, you know? Until... I saw this one and this was just, like I said, it was love at first sight. It was add to sodden cart straight away, okay? Oh, it's in its little paper. Oh, pass the parcel. Hello, okay. Are you ready? You're not ready. Where's the, oh. oh, are you ready? Stop. Sodden stop. She's a quality street. She looks like a sweetie wrapper. She's magical. She looks like something out of Men in Black. Like this is Nickelodeon slime. It's something that looks supernatural and the, oh, you know, NASA went to space and this is the weird thing that they brought back. It looks like that. I'm ob absolutely obsessed with it. It's a patent crinkled leather. And I actually really like that about patent because with patent, it can be subject to scratches and things like that just sort of become a little bit more obvious the more you use it and it's pretty crinkled so you know i'm not going to be having that issue so you've got the knot on the side as the mini jody does and then you have the one compartment silver hardware with its little Bottega uh, triangle on the zip and with the mini jody we've really the bulk of its colors and designs are in the intrachiato weave right and i know that that is so iconic to Bottega and it's the DNA of the brand and all of that. Then they came out with the shearling like teddy version, then they came out with a version that sort of looked like a sponge and again those weren't really hit pulling on the heartstrings as I expect bags to do when you know it's time to hand over the cash. But this this was hook line and sodding sinker. This is so me and don't you dare come for me adding another green bag to the collection because let me tell you something the heart wants what it wants and if i want a collection that's 50 percent green bags that's what cassie's gonna get obviously she's green but she's a very different green to the greens that we've got going on already in the collection okay and also i have pre-ordered another bag <laughs> that is mostly green okay and you're gonna be seeing that soon let's let's take a look inside because i know that we have a little bit of a zip issue oh oh she's stiff but that might be because of the stuffing. Let's have a go. Ooh, okay. I know that Sophie Showhit spoke on her channel about how annoying the zip can be. Oh, suede interior there. Okay. And then you've just got the Bottega Veneta very lightly stamped on the inside. Oh, and there's also a little label that says Bottega Veneta made in Italy. So the annoying zip, let's see how easy it is. I mean, it's going to be one of those. That, yeah, it's a bit stiff. I think it will loosen up over time, but it's still not going to be the easiest thing to close. And you're, you can't one hand it. Okay. Like you can't be here. <laughs> this is the worst demonstration. Yeah. That's not, 
that's not happening you're gonna have to two hand it it's a bag that is quite closed in on itself anyway so is it the worst thing in the world if it's sort of left open as you're carrying it and whatnot i could literally just stare at this all day i've never seen anything like it so this color is called chlorophyll excellent name choice okay the life source of plants go for it is it the life source not sure but it's definitely something that they need if you love the color you don't love the shape they're doing this color in the teen pouch and they're also doing it in the non-padded cassette the regular cassette both of those haven't launched just yet it's just this one at the moment but they are coming soon okay price this is 1520 pound 2100 dollars now this is a bit cheaper than the regular mini jodies in the intracciato weave which makes sense because there's a lot of leather going on there there's more craftsmanship than it is just to have one solid material you know let us see what we can fit inside card holder Doo -doo. okay keys ring a ding ding battery pack for the phone gum hand sanitizer lip gloss something or other perfect there you go and there's still there's still room in there can you see the angles are a bit there's still room in there you could put i don't know blotting sheets all of that business you've got space you know what sometimes you just have to wait and see right sometimes when you're like yeah it's a nice bag but it's just not for me blah blah, blah. then the right color combination fabric texture something or other comes along and you're like you you are the sodding one for me little chlorophyll dream you okay so i'm gonna do the styling at the end but really with this she is a statement but she can go with a lot so like i would love this with a very simple shirt jeans look okay have her be the star of the show but i also love a, a completely let's do green head to sod in tone let's bring it home let's really make it loud let's get loud ladies and gentlemen okay and let's do mafia sod in chic and let's get it going knee Come and see my new bag. What do you think? Do you love her? It's different. Do you like the colour? Yeah. I'm not getting much from me, my love. But don't you think? Combination. Look at that. That's a lot of green. Green is also the colour of happiness and, and prosperity. Oh, <gasps> The cheek. Quick question. Yeah. What do you think of my new bag? Oh, I see. Actually, it's... it's at first I thought, oh, I quite, I quite like it. Okay, the shoes. I spoke about this brand, Decore, on my video that was luxury brands that nobody's talking about or, or whatever. These are going to be the hot new shoe brand. Don't at me, it's the truth. And so naturally, found a pair, fell in love, blah, blah, blah. I'm actually waiting on another pair to come in stock um, to grow my Decore family, but... These are the first ones, okay? Do these look wrinkled? Yes. Is it because I have worn these? Yes. And I tried to put it together so that we could still have a moment together, but I am treating, okay? At least I'm honest. So two dust bags, wonderful. Little extra heel stoppers there, fabulous. They are a London-based brand and don't... My mum used to joke about the fact that when she was younger, she was like, oh, bag and shoe always had to match. She was like, I always had to have matching bag and shoes. And I was like, okay, it's not that serious. And now... I'm sorry. That's just so that you can really get the impact there. Perfection. Okay, these are just an abs... Sorry, what, kindred spirits, star-crossed lovers, I love it. What a sodding combination. So these are the Lust Mules in the Chameleon Green. I have worn them once before, so I can attest to the fact that I really expected these to be more uncomfortable than they are for two reasons. Number one, these aren't, these are 100 millimeter. This is not the shortest mule. You know, I have a pair of Aminamwadi mules that are shorter than this. And I was like, oh, these are going to be a bit higher. Am I not going to last as long? All that business. I don't know what's going on here with the construction totally fine very comfortable the other thing that i was worried about are these little straps across the front digging into the toes the toe clavage and everything else no 
they've got enough space here so that your toes are not gasping for air right and turning blue by the end of the night and these again there's enough room here that these just sit on the foot looking comfortable looking sexy there's like a lingerie aspect to this isn't there isn't there even if there isn't just agree with me so these are in the chameleon green stunning they also come in four other colors um and the price of these is like 475 i believe it'll be on the screen they're just like a very sexy shoe they make me think of gabrielle solis eva longoria's character in desperate housewives would be very into the you know it's very sort of sexy housewife clip clopping around the house pretending to clean you know i'm into the vibe very much i got a size 39 these are very true to size, okay? I wouldn't worry about it too much, um, unless I think if you have wide feet, I have quite slim feet, but if you have wide feet, you might want to do half size size up. I got these from Net-A-Porter. Um, I will be trying these on for you. Please do excuse the fact that I have been mauled with a capital M by mosquitoes um, when I was in Ghana and I'm suffering the consequences. So if you're like, she looks like she's got chicken pox on her legs, I haven't. I've just been bitten. If this isn't perfection, I don't know what is. Oh my gosh, she is a green dream. Eat your greens, people. This is from our good friend on YouTube, Laylee Mirza, okay? She has her brand, Petite the Brand. I'm sorry, have you seen this cotton two-piece? Oversized shirt, shorts, the cutest sodding matching thing for spring, summer. Oh, it's a no-brainer. You put it on, it's a whole look. And don't the bag and shoe combo oh god it's perfect it really is she is the mother that turns up to all the school functions full glam turning out a look i'm here to build a set for the school play green green dream what a sodding moment this is an icon moment truly i am obsessed let me know what you think i'm going to leave a link to another uh video here in case you haven't already seen it have an amazing morning afternoon or evening wherever you are and in the words of my father if you've enjoyed it tell your friends if you haven't keep your mouth shut i'll see you in my next video bye guys